Hello everyone. How often have you heard the term the market has hit the circuit filters? And more often than not, this term is usually associated with a steep downward fall in the broad based market index. Though the circuit filters may also be hit if the market shoots up drastically. But then, more often than not, the words hitting the circuit is usually associated with a steep fall. In this short presentation, my objective is to give you a brief introduction to the concept of circuit breakers, how it works, and what are the advantages and disadvantages, and so on. So without any further delay, let us begin. Now, first of all, we need to understand why we need such circuit filters. We are all aware that investments in the stock markets are a risky affair and more often than not people equate it with gambling. But then what you need to understand is that if you play the market with the right information, the right knowledge and patience, you might actually end up making some decent returns, which usually will be higher than what you can make in fixed deposits or similar investments. But sometimes the markets can be extremely volatile and undergo violent swings both upwards and downwards. And in such times of extreme volatility, traders and investors could incur huge losses which could result in defaults and more importantly, panic reactions. It is with the objective of preventing a collapse of the market due to panic reaction and herd mentality that drives the market that the concept of circuit filters were introduced so that the players can pause, take a deep breath and make more rational decisions rather than reacting in an absurd and irrational manner. So what is the objective of this video? Well, the objective of this video is to introduce you to the concept of circuit breakers, its rules and technicalities, to understand how it works and operates and to understand the pros and cons of the circuit breakers and its role in ensuring the smooth operation of the market. Well, first let us understand what is the literal meaning of the word circuit breaker. Those of you who have a basic understanding of electricity will know that a circuit breaker is a mechanism which is installed to automatically stop the flow of electricity whenever there is a surge or an overload on the circuit. It is essentially a protective mechanism against damage of electrical appliances due to electrical surge. A stock market circuit breaker also performs the same function. In relation to stock market, the circuit breaker is a mechanism which has been put in place to protect the investors or the traders against sudden surges in price. Now, when I say surge, please keep in mind that I'm referring to movement both ways, up or down. Now, we all know that stock markets can be extremely volatile and this volatility has given the perception to some people that stock markets are akin to gambling dens or casinos. Well, I tend to disagree with this perception. I think of it as just like any other market where one can make money by having a deep understanding of the market, how it functions and undertaking some basic research and also having a disciplined approach to investments. Well, more of this later. The sudden and extreme volatility can often take people by surprise and this could result in huge losses to some and windfall gains to others. While one may argue that this is a basic characteristic of a market and since people trading or investing in the markets ought to realize this risk and by participating in the market, it is presumed that they are willing to undertake this. However, sudden unanticipated events could throw the markets in a turmoil and this could result in huge losses leading to defaults and financial chaos. To prevent or minimize the effect of such turbulence, SEBI introduced the concept of circuit breakers which provides for halting or stopping of trading for a specified period of time which will then give some breathing space to the market and traders 
and restrain them from taking actions in a panic mode. Like I mentioned earlier, these circuit breakers are triggered when stock prices go down below a certain trigger point, preventing panic selling, or when the stock prices zoom northwards, resulting in reckless buying and speculating, resulting in traders overexposing themselves beyond their financial means as the greed to make a fast buck takes over rational thinking. From the above discussions, we at least now know one thing that circuit breakers are designed to operate both ways, upward as well as downward. A downward circuit breaker is designed to safeguard bullish traders or investors who have taken a long position and will suffer huge losses if the markets come crashing down. Similarly, an upward circuit breaker is designed to safeguard bearish traders or investors who have a short position and are exposed to huge losses if the market zooms upwards suddenly. One of the most important thing we need to understand is that as far as stock market circuit breakers are concerned, they operate at two levels. One, the percentage fall and two, the time at which the fall takes place. Hence, the rule for circuit breakers laid down by SEBI specifies the duration of halt of trading session for various percentage falls occurring at various times. For example, a 10% fall at say 10 am may require the market to be halted for X amount of time while the same 10% fall at 1.30 pm may require the market to be halted for Y amount of time. The operation of circuit breakers in India is not something new. We have been witness to a number of occasions on which the circuit breakers have been triggered, resulting in halting of trading sessions. There have been instances in 2004, 2006, 2007, 2008, 9, and twice in 2020, once on March 13th and the other on March 23rd, 2020. Before we have a look at the table showing different halting duration for various percentage movement in the markets, let us first look at some of the pros and cons of the concept of circuit breakers. First, let us look at the advantages of the circuit breaker. See, when the market starts to spiral downwards, panic takes over the traders and they resort to mindless selling, which only gives impetus to the already falling market, which then tends to fall faster. This would also result in triggering selling pressure from leveraged traders who are trading on margins as they would not be in a position to meet the mark to market margin calls. A circuit breaker by halting the trade allows the traders to take a deep breath, evaluate the situation and take a rational decision in deciding whether selling at these low levels really makes sense. In a way, a circuit breaker is really a psychological tool to prevent the traders from taking knee-jerk and irrational trading decisions. It's not as if the circuit breaker is a complete cure of all else. Well, it has got its own disadvantages too. Now, what are the disadvantages? A stoppage of trading prevents the discovery of real-time prices and some traders who may get to know of the impending stoppage much earlier than the others would be able to take benefit of the privileged information to their advantage and to the disadvantage of the small and retail investors. Now that we have discussed about the various aspects of circuit breakers, let us actually have a look at the various percentage falls and the duration of trading halls as prescribed by SEBI. Well, if you look at the table, you would see that there are three categories or three percentages of falls which have been prescribed 10%, 15% and 20%. Well, if the market falls by 10% before 1 p.m., then the market halt duration is for 45 minutes and it will resume trading after a pre-open call session of 15 minutes. If the market falls by 10% at or after 1 p.m., but before 2.30 p.m., the market will be halted for 15 minutes. And if the market falls by more than 10% at or after 2.30 p.m., the market will not be stopped and the trading will continue as normal. Then we come to the second slab of 15%. If the market falls by 15% before 1 p.m., then the market is halted for 1 hour 45 minutes. 
if the fall is 15% or more at or after 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m., then the market is halted for 45 minutes. And if the fall occurs at or after 2.30 p.m., then the market is shut for the remainder of the trading. And the third limit, that is if the market falls by 20% at any time during market hours, the market will be shut for the remainder of the day. So you see, these are the limits which have been prescribed with SEBI with regard to the percentage fall and the duration of halt of trading session. Now, let us have a look at what happens after the triggering of circuit breakers. After the circuit breakers are triggered, there is a trading halt. And once the specified halt time has elapsed, the trading continues only after pre-open auction call session is ended. And post that, the trading continues as per the normal guidelines unless the next circuit breaker is activated. So, why are circuits used? Well, like I mentioned earlier, they are used to protect the investors or traders from sudden surges in price. Any sudden surge in price, either upward or downward, could result in a spike in the margin calls, which in turn may prove to be a big problem for leverage traders. And more importantly, a stoppage in the trading session gives breathing space to the market participants to assess the situation and then take rational trading decisions rather than reacting to the herd mentality. I hope you found the above video helpful in getting a better understanding of circuit filters. I do keep posting videos relating to capital markets and finance. So do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload any such content. Also do let me know in the comment section if you want me to post content on any specific topic relating to capital markets or finance and I'll try my best to do it. Also do follow me on my other social media accounts on Facebook, Insta and Twitter. Ciao, stay fit, stay healthy and take care.